Let's see adaptive subdivision in Blender 5.0. The good news is that we don't need to switch to experimental as in previous versions. All we need to do is to add a displacement node in the shader editor. Connect into displacement. We can use any displacement map and connect into height in the displacement node. In color space, we should use none color. Then add a subdivision surface modifier. I'm gonna use simple. And now we need to activate adaptive subdivision. Then go to material properties. Open the settings. Here in displacement, change to displacement and bump. Now all I need to do is to increase the scale in the displacement node. This is the strength. Now we can see the resolution in render properties under subdivision. I'm gonna lower the pixels for the viewport to 1.2. The lower the pixels, the better the quality, but of course it will take longer to render. This is for the viewport and dicing rate render for the final render. In case you run out of memory, you can increase this value just a little bit. For example, 1.2 or 1.3. Now I can change the base color or use color textures. We can also use any shape that we want. All we need to do is to add adaptive subdivision and ungrab the model. For this one, I used cube projection. We can also use procedural textures. For example, I'm gonna add a noise texture, connect into height. Then I can add a color ramp and move the sliders to play around with the textures and also increase the detail in this landscape. I'm using only noise textures combined with a mixed color. I used several noise textures. I already explained how to make these terrains. You can find the tutorials on my channel. I leave the link to that in the description. Anyway, this shader is free on my Gumroad. You can download it and play around with it. Now for the ground, I used a Gabor texture combined with a mixed color but I need a mask to separate the mountains and the ground to do that I used the first color ramp then inverted the colors with the color ramp now connect into factor in mixed color now let me change the resolution to 1.2 for the viewport so we can see the difference. And now we can select the camera in Dicing Camera. This will increase or decrease subdivisions based on the camera distance. And that's it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.